On Sunday, Senator Kelly Loeffler had a debate with Raphael Warnock for the special election that is happening for two different seats in Georgia. Now, the other debate was supposed to be between David Perdue and, and uh, 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 John Ossoff, but Purdue just decided not to show up. So it was Ossoff and an empty podium. Uh, so now the other debate, as I said, Loeffler versus Warnock, that was much more interesting. Uh, and during that debate, she was challenged by Warnock on her shady stock trades. And so this uh, was her response to that. Let's take a look. I've been completely exonerated. Those are lies perpetrated by the left wing media and Democrats to distract from their radical agenda. But look what Democrats have done. They have stood for stonewalling relief that I voted for twice in the Senate to deliver relief to families, to farmers, to schools and hospitals. They're playing politics. That's what they're using their lies to cover up. The fact that they don't have a positive agenda to lift Georgians up. They want to defund the police, raise your taxes, implement the Green New Deal that would crush jobs and opportunity. So what's wrong with her? I, I mean, for one, a lot of people noticed that she kept saying, Radical liberal, radical liberal, radical liberal. Uh, the def uh, the Democrats are for defunding the police. We must destroy all humans. I mean, vote for me. Really? Okay. Like, you could tell that she sat there and, and memorized these talking points. That's all she had. And I've actually got to admit, this is the first time that I heard her talk, and I'm convinced that she's a goddamn Cylon or something. More substantively, of course, uh, she dodged a question, which was uh, her about her stock trades uh and she instead she was like i have been completely exonerated it is all a plot by the liberal democrats okay no no it's less i've been exonerated and more of she is actually part of a system that lets people get away with insider trading even though it's technically illegal do you really see people get punished for it the last that i can think of is like martha stewart uh and she doesn't exactly have a lot of she does have wealth, yes, but does she have a lot of political power? I don't know. For me, and that was, what, 20 years ago? Something like that. Um, I feel like there isn't anything you couldn't get away with now in America if you have wealth and power. Uh, and look, uh, Loeffler's uh, husband is Jeffrey Sprecher. Jeffrey Sprecher is the literal head of the New York Stock Exchange. Do you think that they would ever prosecute either of them? I mean, seriously? I mean, the entire idea of that is inconceivable. They don't go after people in power. They just don't. But that's not the only time, of course, that she responded with what appeared to be some very rehearsed, canned responses. Uh, in fact, when asked if she would be, uh, if, if senators should be barred from selling, uh, from selling stock, here's what she said. Senator should members of Congress be barred from trading stocks? Look, what's at stake here in this election is the American dream. That's what's under attack. When they attack me for a lie, a left-wing media lie conspired with the Democrats by, this is an attack on every single Georgian who gets up every day to work hard to provide a better life for their family who wants to live the American dream. It's a distraction from the real issues, not the conspiracies in this election. What's at stake is the future of our country, our freedoms to live the American dream. Our freedoms to live the American dream dot exe. Come on, look, I don't, I don't, I didn't realize the American dream was failing upward. Although I guess when you think about it, it kind of is. I mean, Donald Trump, President Donald Trump is the ultimate fail son. I can't think of anything Kelly Loeffler had done to deserve becoming a senator. So I couldn't think of anything Donald Trump had done to become president. I mean, look, uh, she was not even elected. OK, this is her first election. She was literally just appointed. She was put in that position, never worked for that position, never worked for her wealth either. You know what she did? She got married to a rich guy. I mean, hey, if that's your American dream, okay. I, 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 it's different than mine, which is actually, you know, working your ass off and, and eventually getting to that position, which is incredibly difficult for, for people to do, but it is possible. Um, 
and there of course there are people out there that are making it very very difficult for many of us to do uh but that said just because you get to that position through being a fail son or a fail daughter well that doesn't mean that you should be able to make laws for the rest of us just because you got to that position especially if you get it in that way uh so now social media decided to weigh in on this debate uh about uh mainly how robotic she was and so i love it uh and this first comment comes from resist bot i think senator kelly loeffler should have been asked to pass the capture before this debate well i mean obviously she would have failed e e even the uh you know uh you know check the box if you're not a robot. Oh, I should be like, sad robot noises. noises. <laughs> Rude Pundit says, it's the first time I've seen Kelly Loeffler speak. Mine too. Um, Jesus fuck, what a colonopin infused conserva bot. There's no way that creepy thing is a human. <laughs> Another one here. I mean, I've had, I've had nightmares where Kelly Loeffler like androids try to harvest my soul power for their batteries. I never thought those things were real. Apparently, and they're running for Congress in Georgia. Um, or maybe she's not like a, a an ant. Maybe she's more like a fembot from like Austin Powers. I don't know. Um, another person says, Kelly Loeffler sounds like a chatty Kathy doll. Pull the cord and all it can uh, deliver is Republican pre-recorded lies and false claims against Democrats. I mean, one of the biggest lies that she said there was about... Raphael Warnock being in favor of defunding the police. He's not. Uh, now, as somebody who was pro-defund the police, uh, I understand that people have no idea what that actually fucking means. And so, as a result, that nobody understands what it actually means, uh, they think, they're going to get rid of the police. The ninth police officer man who protects us, uh, that means you're going to get rid of them and allow Antifa to come in and fuck our wives. No! That's not what that means, okay? Uh, that's not what that means. I've explained before that it's basically mild redistribution of funds instead of some of the funding that police, off, uh, police, you know, precincts normally get. You take some of that fund to go to the community to tackle the roots of crime instead of funding the reaction to crime, which is, of course, the police. Uh, I like to think of it as like, uh, preventative care in a way. Okay. I, I think about it this way. Um, you want to help somebody avoid heart disease. You want to help a group of people, a community avoid uh, heart disease. So you subsidize access to healthier food. All right. You make it so that, uh, you know, uh, vegetables are cheaper than junk food. Okay. And then you give people the tools and you give people the education and knowledge. And, and then you encourage them to make better decisions in their lives. That's kind of what this is about. You take the money instead of subsidizing corn and junk food, right? Uh, in this analogy, right? And you, and, you, and you subsidize healthy, organic foods. Same thing with defund the police. You take the money instead of subsidizing bear cats and munitions and arms. You take the money and you put it into community programs, for example, after school programs, which in some, you know, in, in, uh, in studies, it's shown that they have some positive effects on the community at reducing crime. Healthcare, fixing socioeconomic stat, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 problems in the community, right? Making sure that there's investment in small business and jobs and, and good paying jobs and hiring, things like that. Okay. That is stuff that, the money that would go to arms and armaments and arresting people and, and whatever, um, that's where that money would go. That doesn't mean you won't have police. It just means that you won't have such an overbearing, over-policed presence that will then justify itself through more arrests, more funding, creating a, a basically a cycle of, a, uh, uh, of an oppressed community. Uh, where it's almost like a military camp. And so that's it. I mean, that's that's really what we're talking about, okay? Uh, but understand that that does not fit nicely into a slogan. As I said, it just, fit, it just took me like almost five minutes to explain it, what that means. Whereas Republicans, all they say is, 
uh, defund police, bad. More police, good. And then you have Democrats that say the same thing because they're afraid of losing their seats. Because again, this is not a thing that is easy to explain to people, especially people in white suburban areas who only have pleasant experiences with police. I've had very pleasant experiences with police officers. I am not like somebody who lives in a black community who does not have pleasant experiences with police. Wonder why? I think it's, I think it's pretty obvious, okay? But like I said, you have to find a way to make people understand what you actually mean. And so I can understand the Democrats wanting to run away from that because Republicans are good at messaging. The thing is, instead of running away, I actually want to be able to figure out a way to, to message our defund the police message and more like a fund the community message instead of police um, so that we can actually get this stuff done. Okay. And so we've got to find a way to appeal to the normies. That's all I'm saying. And, and now, and that's it. This is why the fact that somebody like Loeffler, it sounds like a robot from these talking points to us, understand that like this is the kind of stuff that works. She is pre-programmed with these phrases, with these buzzwords, uh, you know, with these very simple concepts that you can really interpret in any way. And it's again, it's super, super effective. And that's why Republicans constantly use it. Um, now, the only difference is the reason that Kelly Loeffler, people could see that she's super like insincere and robotic is because she didn't have any charisma to deliver that compared to Donald Trump, who says the exact same things. Um, she is just, like I said, incredibly robotic. She looks like something that escaped out of a, out of a, out of a cyberdyne research lab. And so that's why she got panned. Uh, but understand, that is the Republican position. That is exactly what they do. And that's why they continue to win. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take a quick break. We're going to come back. Um, not yet. Don't you do that. <laughs> uh, me. All right. A anyway, uh, I'm going to be back. A quick break. Um, we've got more stories. So, so stay right here. we got uh, Steve Ducey. Versus Newt Gingrich. Uh, and then uh, War on Christmas. Always fun. So stay right here around the nation. <laughs> 